The true art of the motorcycle may never have been so elegantly expressed as it has been by Italy Spamota. The boutique manufacturer builds incredible chassis and equips them with high-performance engines from various manufacturers for a string of passion inciting low production hits. But Spamota blew it at least once. The Mantra, introduced in 1995, was a Ducati 900 Super Sport powered machine that, frankly, puzzled everyone with its bizarre looks. Luckily, Underneath it was pure Bimota, based on the Stellar DB2, but with a gorgeous oval tube aluminum frame, instead of steel, and with a claimed dry weight of just 381 pounds. In other words, the perfect Bimota to customize. Yeah, it's one of the ugliest bikes they ever made, builder Tony Prost of Chicago's Analog Motorcycles says of the bike also known as the DB3. I don't know what they were thinking. But I wasn't really saving it so much as I like that nobody customizes Bimidus. They are rare. For me, it was a bit of a sacrilegious thing to do. And there were a few quirky things on this particular bike, a leaky tank and high mileage, etc., that made it okay to customize. Prust has a very background that includes fun woodworking and sound work for the band Chevelle, the drummer for which, Sam Lerfler, is a good friend and motorcycle fanatic. Sam asked me to find something crazy to do a build on, Prust says. I sent him pics of the 96 Mantra I found for sale. He couldn't see the potential, no way. That thing is too ugly but not long after, Lerfler bought a TC3D and became a Bomoda fan. The project was launched. That chassis was one of the best that Bomoda ever made, so I wanted to stick with that, Prust reveals. But I knew that I wanted to change the rear section from a bolt-on subframe to a continuous aluminum trellis style frame. I researched and found the necessary material I could use to match the factory frame. The retro look he was after demanded wire spoke wheels, and after quite a bit of digging, he landed a set of Italian made Alpinus for an early monster that could be modified to fit the Bimota swing arm and paley fork. Bodywork was next. I wanted it to have a classic Ducati 70s super sport appearance, Prust says. But the frame of the DB3 was a much different shape. I started by making a wood buck and carving out the idea as part of my vision, he subbed out the metal shaping to Mike Ardito, who also formed the tail section. Meanwhile, the air-cooled mill was treated to a rebuild by Ducati Milwaukee and punched out to 944cc. Kaheen FCR carbs feed those bigger cylinders, while handmade exhausts with 3 inch baffles and built wool tips set the glorious noise free. Lower adjustable speedy moto clip ons carry ISR controls, radial brake master working on 6 piston front calipers and custom floating discs, and the rear sets are exquisite Rizoma pieces adapted from a Kawasaki application. Final touch was getting the analog name spelled in the Bimota font. After all was said and done, we came up with the name DB3.5. He explains. There already is a DB4, and 3.1 made it seem like it wasn't enough of a revision, 